Hey everyone, it's Thursday, July 20th, 2017, and it's time to go to work on music. It's been a great day so far, I'm in a really good place, and excited for a productive session as usual. So, I'm going to hit some online classes here, move forward with the business front, um, do a little bit of the songwriting class, and then jump into a quick drum practice, going to keep that pretty light, and then just keep most of the energy focused on the production front right now finalizing a riff for the bridge section of the song and then maybe experimenting with some tones for uh, for that part. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'll try to talk you through as much as I can as we go. Let's get it. guys honestly not the ideal session there I mean it wasn't bad um, but it wasn't ideal and I just was really fatigued and I've been pushing myself really hard with my other commitments outside of music as well as my musical commitments and I'm sort of coming up against that a little bit right now so I got a good lesson today like irrespective of how I'm feeling I should just stick to the game plan for the day even if that means going a little lighter on certain things or just taking my time with certain things or changing the order of the session, just being open to that, willing to do that kind of stuff, that would have helped me out today. Just saving the drum practice for the end because I was physically tired, but then doing a little bit of work on the track in the middle of the session would have been fine. So that was a good mistake. That's kind of a new mistake for me, and um, I'm always happy when I make new mistakes. I'm always very upset when I repeat mistakes, but I'm always happy when I make new mistakes because that's a sign I'm pushing my boundaries. I'm learning, I'm getting better, and uh, at, at the end of the day, really all I care about is that when I wake up tomorrow, I'm better than when I woke up today. And if I'm doing that, then it's only a matter of time before I hit my goal. So, um, got the online class front, just more about bios. Uh, I may take a step back and just start doing a little bit of writing there, but I may just push forward with the class, I'll let you guys know. I um, did a little bit of my songwriting class just learning about chord progressions and the author was talking about a couple songs that just use repetitive progressions like Feeling Alright by Joe Cocker is a great example where it's just the same two chords for the entire song and they just change the verse and chorus sections with a little bit of uh, melody change and then some arrangement changes which is really interesting. And then um, I finished reading this article about Esther Dean, who is a hit songwriter behind a lot of Rihanna and Beyonce number one hits, and just kind of getting inside her story and her process, which I think is really fascinating. It's in the New Yorker. A quick Google search will probably get you where you want to go. I think it's called The Song Machine or something like that. Really cool article. And then um, just got it on the drum front and just had a super light, super quick practice. So I didn't hit the production front today, which was kind of a bummer. I mean, I'm not behind like I mean I'm still got the riff down I'll track that over the next couple days and then I'm going to G4 next week so that's just going to be about working on horns like just computer stuff basically but um, yeah that's where I'm at so I appreciate you guys for tuning in hope you guys are out there grinding towards your goals enjoying the process and if you're making mistakes I hope they're new ones and I hope you're learning from them and you're getting better every day guys I'll see you tomorrow for more till then <laughs>